A beloved landmark in South LA is closing after decades. Essa Wan is an independent black owned bookstore. Co owner James Fugate decided to make book selling his career, ironically, after reading a book. Brooke Thomas talked to him. Well, my favorite book, you know, I would say fiction probably is the Cheneysville Incident. That's an old book that came out in the 80s, but um, I loved it. James Fugate and his business partner, Tom Hamilton, opened the South LA Treasure SO1 bookstore in the 80s. They've had shops on Slauson, La Brea, and now Degnan in Lamert Park. But the company started as a sort of books on wheels, community events focused on access. And growing up, that was one thing that intrigued me, is why these books that I would eventually find in high school or hear about in high school, I never saw at the public library. Even in college, you didn't find these books. Even in high school, you didn't find them being taught in schools. And now the fight is to stop them from being taught. But we wanted to make sure that those books were available to people, and along with everything else. Fugate says SO1 has the best selection of African American and African history books in one store anywhere in the country. They have literature, poetry, cookbooks, children's books, books on art, and of course, the latest releases, almost all by black authors. And then there's the iconic book signings. They've hosted many, from Dr. Maya Angelou and Toni Morrison, Rodney King and Muhammad Ali, to Spike Lee and Issa Rae. The most famous is that we had a signing for Barack Obama <laughs> before, you know, um, anybody had really ever heard of him in a big way. He had been in national news because he was the first president, black president of the Harvard Law Review, but um, when we hosted him for his book, Dreams for My Father, a lot of people had not read the book or heard about the book, and we only had five people. But that night obviously had a big impact on the future president. When Obama released his next book, Audacity of Hope, he told his publisher the only book signing he wanted to do was that SO1. Was the signing he had first signing he had done were the people who were there had read the book. Let me just say from the outset that when I came out with Dreams from My Father back in 1993 or four, one of the only places that took me was SO on Books, back when nobody knew who I was and couldn't pronounce my name. Through SO on, Fugate and Hamilton have been able to champion black writers, sharing their stories, black culture, and history with everyone. Books have changed Fugate's own life. An end of SO on makes him sad, but after working like this for 47 years, he's tired, telling me he and Hamilton are ready to retire. Boy, I can remember when my mother called me. Um, she still was in Detroit, and she said she was retiring. And I thought, well, what will you do? And she says, I don't want to go to work. And I understand that feeling is that at some point you want a break. Brooke Thomas reports there's no set date yet for the store closing, adding SO1 won't be selling books online either. You got to check it out. It's a great bookstore.